Welcome to Mad Science Hour, February edition. Today we shall be transmogrifying these flowers into something unholy, into something terrible, into something that shall not be speck of. Speck is be the past tense of to speak. <clears throat> anyway, today I will show you how to make the meat flower. Step one, secure the meat. In this case, speck bacon, bacon, definitely bacon. Not, not speck, not, not the German word for bacon. No, no, bacon, see? Bacon, no wait, that says black. Uh, bacon, right there, right there, see? Bacon, bam, okay, done. So, take the bacon, and then we do stuff to it. But, I need both hands, tripod time. Step the first. Get a pan, because we're gonna be baking it. Uh, pan, okay. Hold on, almost found it. See, that wasn't so hard. Phase two, remove the bacon from its protective packaging. Um, let's see, is this easy? Open, maybe, uh, yes. Remove the bacon from its protective packaging. Just that, oh, oh, so slimy. Okay, right, oh, oh, oh. just fold that there, okay. Next. Take each slice of thick cut bacon, or thin if you want a different type of flour, and roll it up. That's right, just roll it right up. Just like that. See what we're doing? We're rolling it up. Okay. Put that there. Already beginning to look more flour-like. Do it for the next one. Okay, bacon rolling. Alright, you, uh... You don't need to sit through this. Suffice it to say, you take the bacon, roll it up. It's, it's, it's really very straightforward. After that, you wash your hands. Okay? Everybody got that? Good. Okay, moving on. Fast speed. Now, with your hands freshly washed and clean, we need to actually put the bacon roses in something, otherwise they'll flop about and go dumb while they cook. But what to use, what to use? This is what you use. Aluminum, 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 this stuff, foil, that, right there. <clears throat> the alternative is to actually just use a muffin pan, but you're supposed to drill holes in the bottom to like let the grease out. I don't want to ruin our muffin pan. So I'm using aluminum foil. We'll see how well it goes. It might be terrible, but hey, that's why we do the mad science hour to begin with. So I'm just gonna take little bits of aluminum foil, right here, this stuff, and uh, yeah, wrap these little buggers up. Pretty, pretty straightforward, I would imagine. So, uh, we'll do fast speed again. Go! And they are complete! Time to do baking. Yes! Oh wait, we forgot to preheat. Okay, it's gonna be a minute. One minute, just preheat. Hold on. Hold on, everybody calm down. And now, with our delicious bacon meat roses completed, well, not completed, ready to go. They still need to be baked. With them ready to go, we put them in the oven. <clears throat> and as anyone that knows anything knows, oh, oh, a little bit of a, I'm just gonna tuck that in, make it a little, a little more solid there so it doesn't quite flop around so much. Yes. Okay, anyway, has anyone that knows anything knows? <clears throat> okay, you know what? I'm not doing the voice. It's freaking me out, and it hurts my throat. So no more voice, just normal will. It's still Mad Science Hour. Don't you forget it. Okay, so, as anyone that knows anything knows, when making meat flours, you need to put them in oven at uh, hot for length of time. So, oh, uh oh 
So just remember that. You put them in uh, on hot for a length of time. We'll, uh, we'll check in later. And now, after we've allowed some time to pass with the bacon flowers in an oven set to hot, we can take them out. And let's see how they look. Hello, bacon flowers. We're coming to see you because you're wonderful. Ooh, lots of, uh, lots of bacon grease. All right, I get this put up here. All of our bacon grease going everywhere. Shut that and. Dun, 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 dun. Well, they're looking pretty flowery. So uh, we'll let those cool for a little while and then we'll see about attaching the stems. So, what does our bacon flower look like, you ask? Well, let's take a look. It looks like. A flower. Oh, is that pretty? It's so pretty, like a rose. But now we need stems. And you know what they say? Step into the stem gem. Except it's actually Jack Links, but you know, you get the idea. So meat stick stems, folks. How's that for crazy? Let's see what we can do here. So we're just gonna open this bugger up. Yeah, snip. Like plastic a bit, like so, like so. Okay, I'm trying, working on it. Just a second. Hold on, we'll get it. One moment. One moment. Hold on. We're almost there. Okay, this is not going well. All right, there we go. Let's open a little bit. Yeah. Trying to get the meat stick out of the packaging. Note to self: buy easy to open meat stick packaging next time. All right, so here we go. Give the stem to pull it out. And we don't need this whole thing, so let's uh, get a knife. Without slicing our faces off. And then just remove some of the meat stick to be used as a stem. Ta-da! Now the only problem is we didn't really take this into account, so it's a little bit big. So I'm just gonna trim down the top a little bit, basically turn into like a little pokey bit, you know, a point as the uh, as the kids call it these days, which is actually much easier said than done, apparently. Meat sticks do not like being made into meat points. Yeah, that doesn't work very well at all, carving a meat stick into a meat point. So uh, if you're doing this, best bet is probably to just get something like uh, toothpicks. Good way to go about it. But anyway, if you can get on there, you have a beautiful meat flour. So apparently Joni is much better at crafting the meat flowers than I am, because she has succeeded. How does it smell? It's beautiful. Does it smell like meat and flour? Mostly just meat. Okay then. Yeah, so you're actually supposed to take like fake rose stems. I did not get these for Joni because I'm a terrible person. You're supposed to take fake rose stems, snap off the fake flower top, and use that as a real stem. But that was not nearly manly enough for us, was it? No. Well, do you want to eat the, the meat flower, see how it tastes? Yes. It's delicious. Excellent. Mm, and that's really how you good. celebrate Valentine's Day. Mm. Okay, so actual serious instructions on how to go about making a bacon rose. Take some thick cut bacon, just roll it up in tin foil, bake it on a pan in your oven at about 350 for around half an hour, maybe 35 minutes. When it's done, let them cool, and then they come out looking like this. It actually does have a very distinct flower shape to it, which I think is awesome. And then the way you're supposed to do it is uh, you buy fake flowers, break the flowers off the fake stems, and then shove the fake stems into your meat rose. And then you give them to your loved one, your significant other, as a delicious Valentine's Day treat. An artery-clogging 
Valentine's Day treat. Appropriate, since it's heart themed. Ha 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 ha. And then we eat it. Yeah. And then you save your bacon grease for who knows what. And so that is it. That is how you make bacon roses.